hello you guys what is going on welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to design this automobile calendar using corel draw 2020 and it's coming up so these are the resources i'll be using for this design and these are the pictures and this is the calendar i'll be using for this design so the first thing i'm going to do is to set the size i'll be using for my calendar and i'll be using a2 size for this calendar since it's going to be printed with a cord machine and it should be a2 size so i'll click here and click on a2 on my corel draw workspace then you get this size here then i'll select all this and bring it down here then i'm going to recreate this calendar first thing before you design any calendar choose the unit you want to work with then you arrange the calendar first before going into the main design so you have enough space and you know the space you'll be working with for your calendar so since i'll be working with 2021 calendar and i'm going to recreate this to two by six calendar pattern that is january february march april may and june will be on a straight line and july August, September, October, November, December will be on one straight line, making it two by six unit calendar. So what I'm going to do now is to recreate this calendar. So let me quickly do this. So this is the calendar. I've been able to recreate it to two by six units. If you love this calendar and you like to have this calendar, Check out the link down in the description and download the calendar. Then you can recreate it and use it for your own design. So I'm going to click on the calendar and bring it way down to the bottom part of the design till it reaches here, but not up to the edge, the bottom edge of the design. I'll just make it to be on the center like this. Then I'll double click on my rectangle tool to get this A3 shape, which is evenly on the size we have already set already then i will right click here to take off the outline and give it a white color okay then click on the calendar and press shift on your keyboard and click on the shape itself and press c reason why i did this is that i want my calendar to align to the center of this a2 design then now you see i have enough space here which i know how i'm going to set my design with the space i have up here it will tell me how i'm going to set the remaining elements in my design so i'm going to use my pen tool to create a custom shape here click here and hold and click on pen then you click on the pen tool and create this shape like this click here and take it to this other edge and click and take it upwards to get this curve just like what you can see here and leave then press alternate on your keyboard and click on this node to change your pen tool to a straight line instead of a curve then you click here on this edge and bring it to this other node and bring it down this way so this looks very nice and you can give it this cyan color and right click here to take off the outline next up i'm going to create another shape to overlap this shape here just like this click here and click on the center of this design like this and take it upwards a little and create this curve like this then click on press alternate on your keyboard and click on this node here to change your pen tool to a straight line just as you can see then click here and take it down so you get this curve like this it looks very nice this way you leave it at this point press alternate on your keyboard and click on this node then join it with this other node here to get this custom shape then you can give this a red color like this for the main time maybe we can change the color as time goes on or as we start bringing in the pictures for the design then i'll right click here to take off the outline and next up i'm going to click on the pen tool again and create this custom shape click on these edges like this and bring it to this node where you have this node and click then pass through this shape like this okay you can continue clicking till you pass through this shape we created here 
and click on this other edge then take it to this node we created first to get that custom shape then you can give it a black color like this right click to take off the outline and press control page down to send it to the back of the design so you can see how the calendar looks like so the next thing i'm going to do is to power clip this picture into the shape here so i'm going to click on this picture and right click and you see power clip inside and in other versions of corel draw the power clip inside is always on top but since i'm using corel draw 2020 the power clip inside is here so click on power clip inside and click on the shape here then you press alternate on the keyboard and click on the picture and open it up like this open it up again till it fills the background then you can adjust the image again till the car we are actually talking about is centralized in the design so i'm going to adjust this again so i think this is perfect then the next thing i'm going to do is to trim out this shape here i want to create a special effect so i'm going to cut out this shape like this using the pen tool click on the pen tool and click here and click here then drag it downwards see how this shape comes like this you see how it looks like it bent around the face shape there then you leave so i'm going to press alternate on my keyboard and click on this node then bring my pen tool here and click here again and create click here and create this shape again like this make it a curve around that uh shape there like that and leave it then press alternate and click on this other node and come to this other side again click here and create another shape like this curve here make it bend a little and leave then you can join it to this face node here now what i'm trying to do is i want to cut out this shape like this just round this other red shape so i can get a nice looking uh shape there so let's just see how it looks like press shift on the keyboard and select the blue shape and click on trim then you can delete off this other shape so this is how it actually looks like after everything was done this is how it actually looks like and that is exactly what i was looking for so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in all other pictures like this bring it to the design press control page up to send it to the top then i can adjust it this way okay enlarge the battery a little and drop it here and bring this here enlarge a little and drop it here control page up that looks perfect and i can bring this here nice and select this and bring it here and that looks very perfect so what i'm going to do now is to add shadows below these backgrounds because you know okay i can send that to the back again and send this to the back can adjust this a little now why i'm doing all this is that i'm trying to show exactly what this company does so i'm going to add shadows below the pictures like this so it will look real okay so i'm going to click on my drop shadow tool and select the first picture i want to drop the shadow and drop the shadow like this adjust the transparency and adjust the faders like this then you can select preset and select perspective top left like this so the shadow goes to the left you can adjust the transparency again and and you see what the shadow looks like so you bring it to the bottom like this and that looks cool adjust the faders of this shadow again so this looks very nice you can see how it looks very real so i'm going to select this other picture and press ctrl g remember i'm selecting just these two pictures like this ctrl z okay then i'm going to click on drop shadow to click on copy shadow properties and bring it to where we had the face shadow and click so the same shadow drops down this same 
particular image click on the shadow tool and adjust the shadows like this and that looks perfect then you can select this battery and add shadows to it also and adjust it this way adjust this and remember the shadows should be behind like this and that looks very okay so that is for all those stuff then I want to do another thing because it seems these pictures are not really visible so all I'm going to do is to add white to this aspect of the background so I'm going to open up my power clip like this and click on the picture select transparency to and press shift on the keyboard while doing this click and drag down like this to make all these aspects white like this then you can review this side a little so this is what it looks like then i'm going to press control on my keyboard and click outside here to close my power clip you see how it looks then why this part is dark is because the the background or the shape color was black so i'm going to change the color to white like this you can see how it looks very cool and nice then the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring in the company name here so i'm going to select this select this press ctrl x to cut it out and paste it here ctrl v then you can change the typeface to petras okay and press ctrl k on the keyboard to break it like this and i'm going to take it closer a little this looks cool and i'll adjust the battery like this and that is nice select the two names like this and press ctrl g to group them then enlarge the names like this and bring it to this side of the design then you can give it white color so it comes out of the background very well i can shift this closer a little okay and press shift on your keyboard and select and press ctrl g to group them together like this and i believe that position is okay for it then the next thing i'm going to do is to copy out this quality product always press ctrl x and paste it here as well then you can change the typeface to ave fedan okay ave fedan you can see the name of the typeface down the video so you just copy it out and you can download it later then i'm going to adjust it this way and put it down here i'm going to change the color to yellow and this looks good and i'm going to click on paint tool and click here and create a line like this and change the outline width to 2.0 or basically you can make it 4.0 right click here to give it a white outline like that then we can adjust this like this bring the text here and this contains information about the company press ctrl page up to send it to the top of the design press ctrl k to break this apart since this has the location of the company and this has the uh what the company specialized on so i'm going to change the typeface to futura um i need futura medium so i'm going to select this and give it futura medium and that's okay then i'm going to break this like this so this looks okay and i think i should make it capital letters click on text change case to upper case and these are capital letters and you can give it white like this use the shape tool to adjust the line spacing like this and this looks very nice and i'll do the same to this one 
change the typeface to Futura text change case to upper case like this and give it white then you can break the text like this Press shift on the keyboard and select this other text and press L to align all the text to the left. Then you can adjust this size like this a little. Click on shape tool and adjust the line spacing again. This looks very cool. You can select all this text and press ctrl G on the keyboard. Then press shift and select the line and press E. So the text will centralize itself to this line like this. And it looks very nice then you can group the whole stuff and press ctrl g press shift on your keyboard again and click on the shape where we are designing on and press c to centralize the text with the design so it looks very nice then you can ungroup the text again and select this whole stuff and press ctrl g and click on drop shadow to let's give this text a shadow like this so it looks very nice adjust the shadow transparency like this and adjust the faders i think this looks cool this looks very nice this way okay we are getting there little by little okay then i need to fill this red color with another color because i can't leave it just straight like this i can fill it with black just like that and i'm going to fill this blue with deep blue like this i like working with a few gradients like this because it gives my design a 3d look it makes my design to look real other than just doing stuff like that without any 3d look on it it looks so flat and has no creativity at all then i'm going to type here 2021 calendar so i'm going to change my typeface to uh, petras and adjust it this way this looks very cool press shift on the keyboard select the shape and press c to centralize my text and this looks very very nice then i'm going to click here and press ctrl k and give calendar red color while this blue color just as you can see it looks very nice Click on the pen tool and create this straight line. Click here, press shift on your keyboard and double click here to create this line. And you can change the outline width to 3.0. Right click on blue to give it a blue color. Select here and press C. So this is how the calendar looks like. It looks very nice. Let me know down in the comments if you like this calendar and you would like to get this calendario i'm going to link up this calendario down the description so you can download it and use it for all your 2021 calendar design so you can have this same calendario design thank you so much for watching this video and i have to let you all know that you guys are so amazing thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time